Here's a simple project that just amazes people. They think you carved this out of a piece of wood. You didn't. You take a piece of wood here. I have some olive wood. It's a little cracked, so I can put some super glue in the cracks. But when I get this set up and ready to go, it's one and a half by one and a half. I have a pattern for this project. The download is right below this video. You just take it and fold it and glue it down to the wood. After you've done that, there's two places where you have internal cuts. You drill through those letters. You can see I have one here and then one here on the flip side. I go over to my scroll saw and put the blade between those cuts, cut them out, and when I'm done cutting them out, that's all I have to do for internal cuts. You can see there's one and there's the other. Now I've cut around the outside edge and you do not take this apart, but instead you wrap it in some boxing tape. Here it's just like a mummy all wrapped up in the tape, really strong. This isn't gonna come apart. Now you take it and go ahead and cut through the other side. You're cutting through your previous cut now, but everything's held together by that tape. Go back and forth. Of course, I've speeded the saw up here, and now I'm pulling it apart. And remember, it's taped together, so you have to jiggle it a little bit. But as I pull this apart, you can begin to see the 3D effect take place. Get the last few bits here pulled apart, pull the tape off the base, and as I wrap it around, all of a sudden, almost magically, there it is. Jesus lives. Now there's some little spots I have to touch up, so I'll take it and clamp it. A little bit of sanding, and I even have some small Harbor Freight files, and I take those and get in removing any saw cut marks that I didn't want. Now here I have a homemade brand. If you'd like to make one of these, check out another video that I have. After it's heated up, I just push it into the wood for a few seconds, and voila, there's my initials, GF. Now I take the whole thing, I'm gonna use some Watco oil on this. I pour it generously over the project in a pie pan. I'll just grab a little Q-tip, uh, one cent paintbrush, if you will, go into all the openings, dripping it liberally down through each letter, and dabbing it. When I'm done, I'll give you a spin right here, and you can see I have a nice project all finished. Well, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.